the most financially successful movie from 1991 John Singleton's Boys in the Hood now star studded cast first off we got Lawrence Fishburne Cuba Gooding Jr Ice Cube Angela Bassett Morris Chestnut we got Regina King it's Nia Long. Nia Long. Yes. At the beginning. And um, if you haven't seen this movie, which I'm sure everyone has at this point, it's about Trey, who lives with his mother, who's always getting in trouble and has to move with his dad. And he's raised in the hood. Off. Uh, all of his friends are pretty much hoodlums, but he's on in a straight and narrow. Um, as kids, a we see very early uh, that Doughboy and Chris are like other bad kids, and Ricky was the athletic one and was going to be in the sports. And Trey was pretty much just there. As they grew older, we saw that Ricky was a star athlete in school and was trying to get into college or didn't know he was going to get into college. So he was thinking about going to the Army and things like that. Um, we saw uh, that Doughboy was a product of his environment and that's just how he lived. And I think I think the most important role in the movie was played by Lawrence Fishburne mm -hmm. as Furious Styles because he was he was a the father figure in Trey's life that if he was if he was that person for a Doughboy and Ricky, I think their outcome would have also been different, mm -hmm. right? And when it comes to scenes in the movie, if I had to pick a scene I like the most, which is kind of tough, um, it's a couple scenes. Over Furious Styles, it's talking to um, a young Trey about um. sex when he was young and he was t and he was telling him like I don't ever grow up and try to join the army he was mm -hmm. like he said oh, the army ain't no place for I'm a black man mm -hmm. and that was one thing that I that I seen it in the movie yes it always stuck with me for real I ain't mm -hmm. gonna hold you mm -hmm. um, then there was a scene in the kitchen where he was talking to Trey when he was giving him a fade and he was talking about sex. And I feel like that's a important conversation to have with your kids that a lot of people not really having today. Mm, yeah. Because these kids are, they they trip it at a even younger age now. Yes. Um That's crazy that you said that because this is this movie really It touched on a lot it of touched things. touched a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah like you gotta yeah, you if you let if these kids see it now, it's like you see this ain't what you really want to do, man. You right about that. That movie got a lot of lessons in it, man. There was a scene where he was talking to Trey and Ricky about um, gentrification, mm. and we didn't hear about that like from that point on until we got a little bit older, really, where. It was like a big thing. And I was watching it a couple of days ago and I was like, damn. Like, they were talking about this in 91. Man. And you can see all of it now. 
I feel like I think that's why this movie was so big for oh, the culture was because John Singleton was touching on everything mm-hmm. that uh, was going on. And it's it's pretty much timeless stuff. And even at the end of the of the movie, oh, when Trey was talking to Doughboy, it's the famous line where he says, either they don't know, don't show, or don't care about what's going on in the, um, in the hood. Mm-hmm. That's like one of the things where it's still relevant today mm-hmm. when stuff happens. And you know, everybody has their own or like points of view about or like what's going on yeah. in the black community. It's real. And the outside people have their own a point of view, but I don't give a fuck about their point of view for real. Because if they don't know, like if they're if they're not going to acknowledge what happened in the past to get people in a certain position, then you can't really have that conversation for real. Yeah, exactly. Um, but this movie was so authentic, right? So every scene where. It was a gunshot. Mm-hmm. It was it was a random thing. Like nobody knew that was gonna happen. Oh, so yeah. When you see the other reaction when when a gun go off uh-huh. and everybody react, it's because they don't know that it's happening. Wow. That's how he because he wanted to make it like that authentic feel. Gotcha. By okay. stuff like that. Because if if you know a gunshot is coming, mm-hmm. then you might not really flinch for it. Yeah, that's you're gonna really be like, yeah. okay. Well. That's but if crazy. you don't know, you just gonna be like. That's crazy because they say he did that kind of stuff a lot. I'm sure. Because in bad in Baby Boy, he did some stuff okay. like that. Yeah, that I'll tell you. Yeah, we'll talk. Get you know that's a classic. We'll get to that. for that one. Yeah, but man. Um. So yeah, like in the scene on Crenshaw mm-hmm. where everybody outside, I mean they cars. Oh yeah. And oh, the blood do bump into him. Uh-huh. And then do walk away and shoot up in the air mm-hmm. and everybody flinch. So this is this is a, a crazy thing. It was a point where that Ricky almost got or like ran over uh, for real. Wow. As, as he was running, and if you watch it, he uh slips uh-huh. I'm in the street and I shoot was driving right there and almost ran over his legs. Wow. Like, like it was that close, and I was like, "Man, like I've seen this for years, but I never really like paid that close attention to it." Wow, that's crazy. So they were saying that that was a thing. Dang, that could have been bad. That right? Yeah, that could have. That, that could have changed the whole. Like that could have hurt him. For can me. you finish that movie after that? I mean, he probably got everything filmed, right? But still, maybe, yeah. See, don't know. It depends on the structure. Oh man. Um. Is that Morris Chestnut? Was that one of his first movies, too? I believe so. Was, that would have been oh, that would have been horrible, bro. Your first movie, you get ran over for real. Yeah. That's horrible. I would not want that to happen at all. Um, Sheesh. Another interesting fact that is very interesting and strange at the same time. So, you've seen the movie. If not, spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. Skip this part of this video. So. The dude that kills Ricky, right? Uh-huh. After this movie, he goes on to actually become a gang member. Mm-hmm. After being in this movie, he became a gang member. Um, he went to a uh, prison for um, a double homicide. Wow. And while... He was in prison. He was killed by his cellmate for like a uh, um a sacrifice uh thing. Oh by was... by his cellmate. Wow. It was a sacrificial thing. I don't know what the dude was into. I have no idea on that, but that's That's crazy, crazy, bro. Yeah. Wait, what the guy that shot <laughs> the one that Ricky? killed Ricky. The one that killed Ricky. Yeah. Really get, get started the game, he got into a, a game, member. and then got killed in prison. That's crazy. 
That's dude. This is crazy because it's, it's some characters that you from back in the day. I just recently saw another one. I was like, dang, she got killed. Like it's crazy. The one from Rebound. Yeah. And she was, but she wasn't there. Yeah, for real. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm what saying, bro. And somebody walked up on her and, shot and they her. they were shooting at they was no no they were saying no, they were trying to shoot her. But they trying to shoot her? Yes. Because I thought I saw it. Was it. Gang banging. Oh, okay. That's what they said. They were trying to shoot her. Oh, okay. Man. Damn, bro. These stories is crazy. Like, yeah, I did. It's, it's like how you go from. I guess, though, if you're not one of the main. But he was kind of a main character, wasn't he? No, not really. He was a nigga in the backseat. Oh, that's right. He was just. Yeah, that's right. That's real. So I can see how I can go that way. Yeah. Man. That's crazy. And so John Singleton. He had the idea of having Ice Cube in the movie early, mm -hmm. and it was so early that at the time he was trying to have Ice Cube and NWA. Oh. But in '89 they had the beef. Yeah. So then there was no NWA in the movie, and also or the change I can see where the dude came oh, tried to yeah, try to. Not the chain. Yeah, he was wearing a Easy E shirt, and they stumped him out. Wow! So that's because of the beef. That's because of the beef. Yeah, I did not realize that. I'm gonna have to go back and see that now. But bro, just imagine if they didn't get into it. That kind of that to have them in the movie. That would have been pretty cool to see. It would have been. That would have been pretty cool to see. That's I got to go back and watch the movie now. It's, it's, he was wearing an Easy E shirt. Mm -hmm. Wow! It's a lot of classic scenes in the movie. Like, yeah, you can pick any scene, really. That's crazy. I mean, the uh, the barbecue scene. Mm, yeah. Why don't we let these ladies eat first? <laughs> and the ice cube come over there, ice being, cube. being a menace. <laughs> oh said, wow! Always got to eat too. <laughs> ice cube. Man. And Regina King character said, "I ain't no hoe." I said, <laughs> watch the movie. I'm going to say, watch the movie. So y'all can hey, that scene. You're right. You're right. And that's crazy, too. Yeah. Because remember, they went on, and that was his sister in Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I have to think about the older movies. Yeah. Like they were having, like, like, a lot of the core people. Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, IQ, Regina King, Neil Long. Oh, they always in Friday. Friday. That's right. Because Ice Cube started making movies after that. Yeah. And then he was putting people he put in them in. Bruh, yeah. That's so, crazy. And I was gonna say, I was gonna say about that, um, just the cast. I miss those times. Like when they, like we don't get, really get that a lot no more. Yeah. Where it was like like the star, 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 star in one film like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's kinda tough though because at this time, mm. the people they yeah. wasn't stars. They wasn't stars. You're right. Wasn't there. You're right. And it just it, it just became a thing where over time they became it. So it's different. That's crazy. So this was that Ice Cube first movie acting? Oh, uh, I don't think it was. He had a couple other movies. He might have been in something. Uh, like called like. Or like Blue Shield or something like that. Mm, I'm not, okay, I'm sure when that one came out, but I don't think this was his very first movie. Because I'm just thinking about how when did he realize that he and when he started making that Friday. It was after this one because it kind of could see some not too much stuff, sim yeah. you know, some stuff similar. The chain jacking Debo. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. How he and he called this movie an after school special. By the way, this was this was in the yeah. midst of a beef. So yeah, but it's it's a classic. Yeah, we need more directors like John Singleton, R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Um, or to bring these type of movies back. Mm. It's just I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon. But hey, I'm hopeful still. Um, it's some young ones coming up. Hopefully, yeah. It's some, it's some creative people out there. So again, John Singleton classic, Boys in the Hood, star-studded cast. I wouldn't 
listen. Again, we do like the um uh, the recasting thing, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I was thinking about this, and I was like, what rapper could you have even played a role of Doughboy today if you had the uh, chance? Man, today to play Doughboy. Bruh, a rapper? Yeah. Who can pull that off? Bro? And you have to look young, like, that look young. At the time. Oh, at the time. I got you. Okay. Like a, so it's going to have to be a young one. Like high school. But I don't know if anybody... Like, it's obviously like you think about people like or the YGs and mm. and the babies and Twenty One Savage, Twenty One Savages that are like the ones that's that's in the streets yeah. or used to be in the streets. Yeah, used to. So, yeah, allegedly. And I don't think anybody could like pull those off. Man, I yeah, I don't think so. And it, if you can't pull off the Doughboy, then you can't pull off nobody else for it. Nah. Because I don't think anybody now could play a Neil Long character. Can anybody play a Trey character? I mean, he was crying on the drop of a dime, bro. He, he had, had everything there. He had the tears. Yeah, yeah he, he had, had the tears. Like, oh, man. And Lawrence Fishburne. Like, who could play oh, Lawrence Fishburne? Oh, yeah, man? nah. And to actually be believable? T.I.? I don't want to see T.I. play Furious dog. Nah, not that. But he would be like the most interesting one. If if you gave me T.I. as Furious Styles mm -hmm. and T.I.'s son, Ooh. um uh, Domani mm -hmm. as like as like a tray. Oh, tray I kinda okay. I would probably be okay with it. That might work. But then everything else around it just it's not gonna work. Mm. I don't feel like it will work. Cause if you get the the money, I'm trying to think around that age now to play uh, Doughboy, and I just don't see nobody, nobody playing that play. Yeah, that would be interesting though. You're right. I would kind of, I kind of would want to see that. Right way. It just wouldn't mm. make sense. Yeah, I was thinking the other dude. Uh, What's his name? Not Rod Wave. It's another one. I think he's from like Mississippi or something. Moray? Uh, not more. It's another one. Oh man, I can't, I'm drawing a blank right now. Money bag yo? No, 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 not money bag yo. It's a bigger dude. He be doing like that. Uh... Yo Gotti. <sighs> you said Mississippi, right? I think it's Mississippi. Oh, I, it might be Memphis another. Anyway, they from Memphis. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the wrong people. Either. Oh no, no, are you good? You good? I, I forgot where he's from, but I think he might be able to play it. Uh, Vince, you know which one I'm talking about? The rapper, the uh, bigger dude, like uh. Oh, 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 Duke Deuce. Duke Deuce. Now him, I think he might. That's the only one I can see that can play. I feel like can play that dope boy role. I don't know who Duke Deuce is. You don't know who Duke Deuce is? You don't know? Yeah, you gotta go. Oh, Duke nah, nah. Duke Deuce, I feel Crunk like. Crunk dead, crunk ain't dead. Crunk ain't dead. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and this is why you can't recast this movie. Instant classic. John Singleton, Boys in the Hood. This has been episode six of Back in the Days. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore than I am, bro. Even simple as that. Bro, there you go. Oh, mm -hmm.